Hey -o. it's me, Doc, back again with another lesson. Um, doing Red Rocking Chair again, um, but this is the major version. Um, I'm not sure the exact origin of this version. Um, if it predates the minor version, um, I don't think it does. It sounds a little bit more modern. Um, there are definitely some elements of it I hear in older recordings, like the the Lily May Ledbetter version definitely reminds me of both the major and the minor version. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure where this one comes from, if it's the folk revival invention or if it's older than that. Um, but it sounds great, um, usually, and works on any instrument, really. I played on ukulele and guitar, too. Um, but yeah, it just goes like this. Who rocked the cradle? standard tuning because uh, I usually play on an A banjo because uh, I like the short neck um, but this works in G standard too tuning as well you just won't be able to play along with me um, but you can still learn it um, and the chords are pretty easy it's just so depending on what tuning you're on this is a C shape but I'm an A so this is a D chord technically but C shape back to the open A or G if you're in standard tuning. You're gonna go to the relative minor, which is F sharp minor here, but on a standard tuning, it would be E minor. This is the E minor shape. Okay, back to the open chord. Okay, live together this way. Oh Lord, back to the minor. Together to the five, which is E here, but it would be D on a standard tuning. They live together this way. Pull back the curtain. this song a bit crooked because I like I guess I don't I should pay attention to how other people play it but I like a little bit of extra space after the end of the phrase and I kind of have to seem to play it crooked to do that um, but yeah and I ain't got no you string open do do hammer on to a c shape chord string open open third string oops sorry uh, so 
obviously it goes do 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 and then we get into the E section E minor do 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 lesson is sort of designed for people who already kind of know how to play the banjo pretty well and um, are just trying to learn this unique arrangement. And I don't know what I can do. So, you know, if you have any questions or you're struggling with anything, ask some comments and I'll be happy to help you out, okay? Thanks.